It's nine o'clock, friends. I am ready to start my work day at the Goodwill outlet. I got my IKEA bags. We're gonna do two rotations. Come on in with me. Let's see what we find. Okay, so friends, I am home from the bins. I got one whole IKEA bag. It was. 17 pounds, I spent $28. Cause I remember it was just, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I got and tell you what I plan to do with it. So first up are these Le signature Levi Strauss. These are the athletic cut. I like to get the athletic cut because they have more relaxed fit, and that seems to um, work with a broader audience. And so we will list those. They kind of smell like smoke, so I might soak them in vinegar first. Next up, this is Fabletics, and this is a size large cheetah print sports bra. I am going to put this in a whatnot auction. I'll put them all over there. Next up, I found several pieces of Eileen Fisher. This is a size small. Eileen Fisher is a very expensive um, designer, kind of like minimalist, mature brand. And so the pieces go typically go from that $20 to $40 po price point. So we will get that laundered and listed. Now this brand, I don't know anything about. I just like the shirt and I was like, I am going to start picking up things and researching. I would have looked up sell through on this in the bins like I normally do, but we had storms moving through and the internet was not being cooperative. Next up, this is an express collab. It's an XX small but I picked it up 100% based on style and the fact that it is sequenced. Someone is gonna need this for the holidays or, um, yeah, for the holidays. And there's always a holiday. There's always an event where sequins are appropriate. Next up, friends, we have this pink, these Pink Floyd sweatpants. They're in extra large and really good condition. I could list these, but I think I'm going to put these in my whatnot auction. And whatnot auctions are all linked in the description, so be sure to join us. We do go live on whatnot on YouTube, um, on my YouTube channel. So if you ever are on and see me pop on, just come in and say hey. Next up, this is a Nike Tri-Fit like running cap. We just sold a pink one of these um, two days ago for $18. It sold on all of the platforms like within an hour, and we had to re we had to like refund the people because we only had one. This is a black one, so hopefully uh, this one does just as well and sells as quickly. Next up are these Levi's Classic Boot, a size 16. I have sold these several times before and they, with fall coming, I wanna start stocking more denim in our closet. Here is another Eileen Fisher piece. This is a more recent tag and it's just a nice crop knit sweater. Um, I found all these Eileen Fisher pieces within the same two bins. I kind of have a Goodwill bins theory that when you find one, there's normally two. So if you're looking in a bin and you find a piece of Lululemon or some other designer brand, kind of slow down and take your time looking through the rest of the bin and then maybe the one bin next to it because um, I typically find multiples that way. Next up is another Eileen Fisher. I believe this is the newest tag, and it is this gauzy knit sweater. Like I said, 18 or 25 to 35 for these Eileen pieces, especially since they're knit and we're going into fall. This is the brand Philosophy, and I would not have picked this up, but it is a 3X knit sweater. And so this will go in our... Um, Actually, I'm going to list this. 
I am going to list this on our platforms. And I feel on Poshmark, Macari, Depop, and eBay is our biggest one now, friends. I've worked really hard to become a very uh, successful eBay seller. I'm not where I want to be, but we have turned our eBay store around since April um, with consistent sales daily. And I feel like um, it gets better and better each week. Next up... These are Levi's 511s, and they are a 3130. Like I said, trying to get more denim in the stores as we move towards, as we race towards fall. Next up, this is L.L. Bean, and a lot of their pieces have been, I've been picking them up more and more, um, have been moving pretty quickly for me, and that's what we want. So I found that and grab that these i was kind of like uh, i don't know but um i knew i was only gonna finish out the rotation so i just grabbed them there and shopping at the bins at such a low price point allows you to just be like put it in the bag put it in the bag this is page and these are the federal and they are a size i believe they're 31s friends but nice like color not everybody likes blue denim and sometimes people want a more a color than like khaki denim for work next up and this is another one i'll look up i look everything up when i'm listing though so i don't know what i'm saying i mean do a little research on um was this the guy on project runway the Kristen seriano i think he was but this is a size extra large um, kind of puff sleeve knit sweater and I just thought it'd be a nice basic. This is a brand that I normally pass on and it is Zell, which is sold at Nordstrom's but this is an excellent condition and it is this plum colored um, athletic maxi dress. It has a built-in bra. It's a size large and I just haven't seen a piece like this from them in a while so i or ever so i picked that up then i have a two pair of brooks brothers wool women's pants both size 10 first is this caramel camel tan color and these need to be dry clean so i have a dry cleaning at home dry cleaning system like dry l that i use it's also linked down below in my um, description so if you buy anything through my amazon storefront you are going to support the channel and it just is helpful because it was something you were already going to buy anyway next up friends are are the other pair of Brooks Brothers. They are also size 10, wool pant. These were probably well over $100 um, retail. Then we have another Eileen Fisher piece. This is knit sweater. Um, okay, so we have a men's Michael Kors button down. I tried it, or no, Jones New York button down. Um, I try to stay away from men's button downs, but this felt so luxurious and good that it just really caught my attention. So I feel like it might be, it's a slim fit and it's their signature line. So I'm going to see if Jones New York signature for men's goes for a little bit more Then a couple of more pieces. So I was just at the start of this bin when they called rotation and you had to go to the side. So this is Athleta, and it is like a halter top. It has a zip back. It has holes for straps, but no straps are there. Um, I'll probably put this on auction because it is coming towards the end of that season. And Athleta just is an anthro brand that doesn't move well for me. Same with this piece. It is Cloth and Stone by Anthropology, and I really love this top. If it was my size, I would keep it, but it's got buttons up the back and it's just a very nice little blouse, but we will also put this in on one of our whatnot auctions. And the last piece I have is this Top Shop sweater. I'll have to look on comps, up comps on this because I'm on the fence on whether I want to 
list it or put it in the option auction but sweater weather is coming and like i said we want to get this store stocked for fall and winter so that is my haul let me know down in the comments if you shop the bin bins and what is your favorite thing in my haul be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe for more reseller content and i will see you in the next one friends Clothes and kicks, we got that vintage play. You name it, we got it. All the styles you wanna wear.